Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisor Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from a lovely little Westlake Village, California. It's bright as early, it's almost 5 a.m. We're gonna jump into some Bitcoin price action. How are we gonna prepare for the market? We're gonna talk about some liquidation levels on Bitcoin, Ethereum. We're gonna take a look at the S&P 500. We'll, we'll look at NASDAQ and how those interplay with Bitcoin. And we'll also take a look at the harbinger of death and despair. That is Dixie, the dollar, which is measured against a basket full of currencies. So let's jump right into the charts and make sure you like and subscribe the video early. I appreciate it. So let's jump right into Bitcoin's price action on the four hour time frame, as we did discuss yesterday, the four hour range, which um, I will just use this little HPDR indicator right now and say, hey, look, a break of this range likely going to get the next next decent size move um, to the upside. I'd be looking for a move. Uh, well, um, just to the purple 200 and potential for about 28,000 uh, to the downside, if this does break, well, let's look at our liquidation levels. That level is 25,200, 25,200. And a very important level, actually, if uh, it does begin to break is the 25,300. These wicks right here, trapping the shorts, trapping the longs. It's been a trap sandwich here. What am I talking about? Well, uh, people getting trapped. The uh, longs, people going long right here are now liquidated. Uh, people going short right here are now liquidated. So all the liquidations are taken out. And now it's the market maker's job to draw people in. Draw people in and then slam it in their face in the wrong direction. Um, overall... So we got the four hour range. Let's take a look at the 15 minute time frame and how we could perhaps get our first clue that this potentially is a W formation and not an M. So the M formation is like this. Uh, M formation. Yeah, call it something like that. That does not look like an M at all. That does not look like an M. What am I drawing here? That is a sloppy M if you're going to call it one, but um, it does line up. So we got the lower high. And now we are just looking for the lower low with any kind of a closure below the middle wick here at 25,600. On the 15 minute time frame, for me, that'll confirm this as an M. I'd be targeting the bottom side of the range and looking to see if it breaks at 25,323. Remember, today's Thursday. It's a down day traditionally for Bitcoin over the last couple of years. Uh, so, short term pressure to the downside, momentum is crossed down, volatility is increasing, and we got the silver cross to the downside. That's when the 21 is crossing the green 55. Hey, if you guys want to learn how to set up trading view, go to bitcoinadvisors.com and click on our resource center. The link is in the bio and you can scroll down and set up trading view for free. Uh, so you can follow along in the charts. That's kind of the first step in getting in the right direction. If you want to become, you know, knowledgeable in this marketplace, otherwise you're just guessing, listening to the news, hoping for the best, trying to figure it out from your couch watching the TV and, uh, or watching TikTok or watching YouTube. And guess what? If you want to be good at this, you got to put some work in. And that's why, uh, well, we created uh, Crypt Courses where you can uh, learn how to trade. Crypt Courses, boom. How to stack stats using technical analysis. Start here, check it out, go to our site, it's free. I don't know what's better than free, but um, it's free. All right, that is it. For, so if Bitcoin is going to give us that bias, uh, you know, minimum looking to target this area at 25.6, closures below there on the 15 minute very likely gets a good move. The hourly also flipped down, volatility increasing, selling off the green 55. You would expect uh, some downside continuations as we are putting in a slew of lower highs and lower lows. 
So pretty, pretty obvious there, in my opinion. Now, how would I flip this around and say, okay, you're wrong. This is not what it is. Well, what's the opposite of an M formation is a W. How would we get a W out of this? Well, this is an ugly chart here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this line. <clears throat> How would we get a W, which is a reversal formation, a higher low? Okay, so that was your, yeah. So if this does hold 26 and we form a higher low on the hourly time frame, that'll look good. Closing back above 25.7, which is going to be this last high. Yeah, so here would be your W formation. W, boom. W would be like this. W. Does that work, guys? I I I I really don't. I don't love this setup. Uh, the way it's looking here on the fifteen-minute time frame might be better. That. That. Yeah, see that W, I mean, it looks a little better, but um, not the best W formation, not what I'm looking for. And so that's why I'm more on the bearishly bias side and for some testing of the downside. What else is going to give us that bearish bias? Well, we talked about Dixie and NASDAQ. Dixie and Mr. NASDAQ. Let's start it out with Dixie. How's he doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not what you want to see, guys. That is not what you want to see. Green, girthy candle right in the charts, hitting you right in the face. And <clears throat> playing up towards our target, guys. Who put it in a comment below? Who thinks the dollar hits uh, 108 this year? Who thinks I'm crazy and the dollar's going back down? NASDAQ down 140. Boom. M formation in progress. We got the M formation uh, in progress here. And we've got a bit of a head and shoulders on this one. Head and shoulders, get rid of that dandruff, sir. Does it look better on a 12 hour? Uh, short term, looking for NASDAQ to come down to 43.88. Probably fills the gap and then goes for more. And where does the measure move off a could you call it a double head, double shoulder? I mean, what time frame does this actually look correct? Does this suit the outline of a head and shoulders? Perhaps call this a double left shoulder, double right shoulder, and it looks like something like this, right? So shoulder, shoulder, head, shoulder, shoulder. Now, what I don't like is that we took out the uh, we took out that right shoulder, and that typically is your indicator. Ah, uh, maybe this ain't gonna work out. Um, faked a lot of people out there, and well, when China's economy is dumping, apparently China's economy is not growing anymore. They're not stimulating, and well, we're all connected, right? So probably not gonna be good for the United States in that case. Uh, anyways, measure move off a head and shoulders. What you do is you take the top of the head down to the neckline and credits to Crown on this one. He pointed this on out this morning. I did not see it, but I saw it after watching the show. You guys should check him out. Uh, pretty, pretty awesome show. And boom. So measure move down to 4,100 uh, for S&P 500. Okay, so bearish bias there. What else is happening? The VIX, the volatility index is heading in, you know, been hanging out in this box of peace and prosperity and death and despair. If we get back above this level, um, that'll be another warning sign. Tether dominance hanging in there, grinding out. We said uh, tether dominance breaks above this line. It's lights out. Having is coming, having is coming. And what is the case for the bulls here? I said I would talk about a little bit of bull notions, bull notions. We're still, we're still hanging out above the $25,000 level. 
We are still hanging out there. By the way, I marked out the 15th, which is now going to be coming in pretty hot. So quadruple witching, stock options, futures options, crypto options, and one other option. I don't know what it is, but essentially what happens on the 15th, everybody's got to decide, do we want to roll these positions over and continue going long or short? And they position themselves towards the end of the year. What do I think probably happens? Well, I think people are gearing up for their red September. Um, and if Bitcoin can hold this level uh, going into the 15th, points for the bulls. And I think there is a chance uh, that we you know, don't come down to this level. Um, if we lose this level, well, next level down is going to be 20,000 bucks. So pretty easy uh, there. And what else gives us a little bit of a bias here is the daily time frame. The daily time frame volatility has continued to increase as we here personally, here's what I would like to see happen. Uh, one more fake out to the upside. Boom, tag that trend line and then come down. That's that I think uh, could be a little bit more of a likely scenario. That'd probably be the right, you know, the route of the most pain. Most people's stop losses are going to be if they are short right above that area right here. Um, so go out there, stop those people out and then go down here and liquidate everyone, get them bullish, get them bearish. And then let the train remain, you know, the weekly trend, um, you know, as long as on the monthly, really, if you look at the monthly here, as long as Bitcoin is holding up on the monthly higher lows, well, that's going to be bullish. So do we maybe play down to the green 55 after, uh, yeah, I, I do think that's the case. 22,678. Um, you can see momentum will cross down this month below 22,200. Volatility has been declining. You see that thing start to increase. Not going to be good for the bulls. Also, Silver Cross on the two week time frame getting rejected there. Typically going to lead some continuations to the downside. If we start to see volatility begin to expand here, well, this last expansion phase uh, did result in a nice little 62% pump from the low to the high. So not bad there. Very similarly, as we put in a buy signal here, we are putting in a sell signal right here. And you can see the PMARP has lost the moving average. Another uh, point for the bears there. And I think that is it. We said it all comes down to the 15 minute time frame in which we were planning on heading down to 25.6. That's happening a little faster than I had thought, than I was persuaded. It's 5.40 a.m. Just getting in here to get prepared, get prepared for the day because there's a lot going on out there. Economic data coming in today. Apparently, they're not able to sell bonds. The eight-week bill at five, just eight weeks, you get 5.29%. Uh, Fed Williams speech today, Bostic and Bowman speech today. They're lying through their teeth. They're lying. Guys, if you guys are sick of the tyrannical government that's putting face masks on your face, that's funding Joe Biden's garbage campaign, uh, spending money on transgender research and all the other BS out there, if you want to like change the world from where it's at today, a dollar based system based on theft. The dang government is robbing us blind through taxation and inflation. Um, and they're imposing criminal acts all over us, letting the top 2% get wealthy. And 98% of the people are just living paycheck to paycheck, trying to struggle to survive. Bitcoin is a solution. Bitcoin puts the power back into the people. And that's why I'm so passionate about this. That's why I salute you if you're still here. You're still in this market. You're still, despite the boringness, despite the volatility, you're learning, you're getting educated. I salute you. I give you a pat on the back, encourage you. I appreciate you. And with that said, I'm going to peek in on Ethereum and gold. Ethereum and gold, which one comes out first? I don't know. And I actually am going to short-term uh, 
give us a little trade setup idea. I'm looking for a move down on the 15 minute time. Fetch AI coin, you know, uh, had a nice little pump here, hit a major trend line, rejected, put in a perfect M formation. And uh, where is the target on the M? First target. Oh, it could be a little bit lower for a bounce 236, 23, or, or not 0.236. Um, I actually got it in this trade uh, right here. So not bad, <coughs> not bad at all. Uh, I said Ethereum, not FET coin, fetch, fetch AI, Fetty WAP coin, as we like to call it on our TikTok cha channel. Uh, what else do we got here? Well, that is not the sign of peace and prosperity that you're looking for, sir. It is absolutely not the sign of peace and prosperity. It's it's more of a death and despair outlook. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no death and despair, but I did uh, map out this cone shape on one of our live streams yesterday. Um, by the way, don't forget, like and subscribe. Join the Discord. We got our free Discord join our discord you can go to crypt courses the links in the bio and the link is below uh back onto ethereum so ETH's going to do whatever a bitcoin does but more to the downside to the upside and in general when bitcoin dominance has been going up well ethereum's not going to perform as well bitcoin dominance has been going down so ethereum should perform better um lately I guess I'm going to look at our liquidation levels for Ethereum and on Bitcoin, by the way, uh, to the upside, 25.1 to the downside, 24.9 and 24.3. So definitely going to get a bounce on the first pop pass off of 24.3, probably um, a bounce even off of this first level here at 25.521. There's you know, a hundred million dollars worth of liquidations right there. Usually good enough for a bounce on the first pass. Okay, let's jump into Ethereum here. Liquidation levels. This has really been kind of helpful for me. People are net long right now. So what's most likely to happen? If all the retailers are long, what do you think the market's going to do? What do you think the market maker is going to do? You know, take your money. So uh, 1595, 1601, 1607, and probably good enough for a bounce on the first pass at 1612 to the downside. To the upside target, um, gosh, 1784. If we do get up there, guys, I do believe we'll probably send it all the way up to 1717. Where does that line up on the greater scheme of things here? 16. 16, 16, 16. What did I say the level was? 1684. Where's 1684? Oh, it's the top of the cone. What do you know? Guys, watch the cone get filled out. Why? Because they're liquidating shorts and longs, liquidating shorts and longs. And how do you get prepared for the weekend? Well, uh, that's what they did yesterday, they tapped both sides. And if we do get a break below here, here's your next level down at 1574. Below there, wicking down to 1500 bucks, 1400 bucks. I think that's it for today, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored day. Let's check back in tomorrow. It'll be Friday. I'm going to sign out with that. Take care.